I am Dr. Rodriguez Feliz, board certified plastic surgeon here in Coral Gables, Florida. Today I'm going to talk to you about the recovery after a deep clean uh, facelift. Very common questions that I get usually asked. Uh, the procedure, it depends on the scope of work, but the procedure takes about um, four hours if it's just uh, a regular uh, deep plane and it can extend even eight hours if we're adding some of the additional procedures such as uh, brow lifts, upper lifts, uh, lower lids, buccal fat, fat, fat grafting, submandibular gland. So it depends on the real on the scope of work. But for a, a straightforward deep plane face, we're talking about three and a half hours, four hour procedure. Um, the, the recovery in essence is about a week, five to seven days. Uh, there's very minimal bruising and very minimal swelling with an actual deep plane, which was one of my reasons why I prefer this technique. Um, I have the patients wear an elastic um, uh, band. Actually, there is a big wrap that I place for 24 hours after surgery in the regular deep planes and for three days in patients that I do submandibular uh, glands. Um, and uh, also there is a drain that stays in there for 24 hours uh, in the regular deep plane but uh, two drains that stay for a little bit longer uh, five days or seven days when I do some mandibular glands. Um, after those uh, 24 hours or three days I remove that big uh, head wrap and we place an elastic band that has ice pack that the patients uh, apply ice for 20 minutes uh, on and 20 minutes uh, off. Uh, then uh, the patients, I tell them to rest for that first week and usually after one week, I, uh, once the sutures are removed, uh, I allow them to start uh, walking and getting more active. At two weeks, I start them on some light exercising, nothing of impact. At four weeks, they can start doing more impact work and lifting weights. And at six weeks, uh, they essentially can go uh, back to normal between six to eight weeks. Uh, elastic band, we already talked, the incision, so like I mentioned, the sutures are removed uh, at about uh, one week. Uh, sex, I usually uh, allow them to at least uh, have four to six weeks of until everything heals. The main problem with sex is that they can have actually hematomas as the blood pressure goes up. Nutrition, so everyone asks me, what can I eat? Uh, we always want you to have a healthy diet, but more important than what can you eat, it's very important to stay very hydrated during the first few days after surgery. It's going to improve uh, actually uh, the swelling as well. Sleeping, so we recommended the patient sleep with one of the uh, pillows that people use for travel because it allows you from moving the face from side to side and also with the head elevated and it's usually for the first 72 hours to allow for some of the swelling to come down. Um, and then uh, always uh, patients ask me, you know, can I sleep with my face on the side and face down? Well, we know from uh, research actually that sleeping on your side uh, or down uh, is not good for your wrinkles in your face. So we always recommend to try to sleep uh, with your face up, uh, but at least to try to prevent any movements uh, to the sides for about four to six weeks. And then shower and let the patients shower 24 hours after uh, the procedure. They can get their head. Uh, hair wet um, and uh, that's usually the case. The only other thing I didn't put in here it's uh, when can I dye my hair so usually we like to wait about four weeks to allow you to uh, dye your hair again. So these are some of the common questions that we get asked uh, for recovery during a deep plane or facelift uh, procedure.